Good morning guys, this is DJ Jochi and this is DJ Charm. You are now listening to the smooth morning to OJ 107.1. The time now is 3 minutes after 7 o'clock. Time checks brought to you by Red Horse. Lakas ng sipa ng horsepower. So, how are you today, partner? I feel so energetic today. <laughs> oh, so what's the reason behind? Uh, maybe I just drank too much coffee in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, partner, what would be the issue that we're going to tackle for today? Oh, did you hear it from our news patrol alert yesterday? The investment scams, networking scams, pyramid scams? Yeah, that's right, partner. So we just received a report about a woman that has been scammed by one of the networking business. And take note, partner, she lost 500,000 pesos or half a million. Oh my gosh, that's a huge amount of money. Yup, so she's on the other line. May we call Mrs. Chrissy De La Cruz? Hello, ma'am. Uh, yes, hello. Yes, ma'am. This is DJ Jochi. We would just like to know your experience about this networking scam. How did it happen to you, ma'am? Um, so I was browsing through my Facebook and then I saw an ad on my newsfeed. It says that I can get 30,000 pesos through investing just 5,000 pesos worth of money. That's a great deal, isn't it? So without hesitation, I contacted the number that was on the screen and then that's where it started. I even had several meetings with the recruiter and they had all the materials for convincing their client and they were so good in talking. So ma'am, during your meetings, do you see any suspected acts of this business or didn't you thought about scams? Uh, no. It was so formal and you can see their professionalism on what they are doing so you wouldn't suspect them. But at some point, I thought about the scam, but then they explained it to me and they were so good in talking that I believe on them and basically invested a lot of money. Ma'am, why did you invest that amount of money? Uh, because they said that 500,000 has many benefits and it could give me back 1.5 million. Ma'am? May we know what is the name of this networking business? Um, it's called uh, M Goldix Philippines, but from what I heard, they changed their name. Thank you so much, ma'am. We'll surely give an action to this. I can't believe this, partner. Truly, there are things like this that abuse the innocent of the people. That's right, partner. So, for additional information about the top 5 networking scams in the Philippines, here is Rona Strictly speaking, financial crimes do not kill people, they kill dreams, they kill hopes, and they kill confidence in lifetime investing. Here's my updated list on the 5 biggest investment scams here in the Philippines. Number 5. Mateo Management Group. Known losses, 4.3 billion pesos. In 2003, Couple Irving and Evelyn entice at least 20 people to invest billions of pesos by promising high guaranteed returns. They disappeared after getting the investment. The government filed 30 counts of syndicated estafa against both as well as five other officers of the group. Number 4. Performance Investment Products Corporation. Known losses, 11 billion pesos. In 2007, an alleged forex trading outfit duped people who were blinded by the 10 to 15 percent guaranteed return being offered. This is the scam that rattled the high society. The mastermind Singaporean Michael Yu allegedly gave some $138 million to be given back to his investors. However, Yu is still facing cases in Hong Kong. Number three. A man Futures Group, known losses, 12 billion pesos. 
In 2012, over 100,000 families in Pagadian City were enticed in commodities trading investments that offered up to 80% profit in 20 days. Number 2. Multinational Telecom Investors Corporation Known losses, 25 billion pesos. In 2002, more than 950,000 individuals got burned in this investment scheme that offered 4 to 5 percent per month. Queen Mastermind Rosario Balia is still in jail. Number 1. Legacy Group Known losses 30 billion pesos. In 2008, Celso de los Angeles Group of Companies offered motorcycle loan and investment loan programs with guaranteed commissions up to 15,000. Angelis was put in jail and died of cancer in 2012. Everything that we do catches up with us. Be careful and stay away from the skies. That was truly informational. We should really be careful nowadays and don't trust someone easily. So that's all for this morning. I hope we gave you enough information for today. Again, this is DJ Jochi. And this is DJ Charm. You're listening to DXOJ 107.1. DXOJ 107.1.